Hello, good day everyone, Raj here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share to you information about the use of CISL for your classroom. So let's start. As you all know, CISO is one of the platform that you can use while you are having your online lessons or your face-to-face -face lessons as well. So the CISO itself looks like this. So we got here your class, and this is going to be assigned through your administrator or your school. Then we have here the journal, the activities, inbox, and progress. This menu, I'm going to explain it to you one by one. So if you wanted to assign homework or activities to your students, you can just simply look for the add button here on the top right side of the CISO homepage, then click on that where you can have post student work, assign activity, or send announcements. So from this, you can celebrate good work. You can post it in, in this page. You can also assign homework or activity and then send announcement to your students and parents. So now I'm going to show you how to assign activity. So click on assign activity. So you will be directed to this menu. So clicking on the community, you can just simply look for the activities that applies to your class by looking at the drop down button. I'm teaching third grade, so I just choose third grade. Now I'm looking for the math activity, so I selected math, and then maybe I could just search by topic. So if I'm going to have place value, and then I click search, now I can choose different activities that I can assign to my class. So if I'm going to click one of these activities, now this is how it looks like questions are already or activities are already uploaded and also you have here the instructions you may also record instructions if you wanted to so you can click on the ellipsis here on the right side and then you may have add this to your collection of activities you can copy and edit this activity or you can just simply assign it to your students. So once you assign this to your student, this automatically be available or can be viewed through can be viewed through your activities. So if I'm going to go back to the home page, I click on the activities. Now I can see here the activities that I have already assigned to my students from the community and if you wanted to create your own worksheets you can do that so through assign activity now students may now going to have to reply on this or to work on this worksheet by clicking on add responses so from there they can already work and then click connect so teachers will also have the options where to approve the submitted work or to return it to the students when you are not satisfied with their work. Now, after looking at their responses, you may go to the progress. And on the progress, you can see here your students' work. It will also be reflected here to the different work or assignment that you have given to them. And then you can export this also and it will turn into an Excel form. So that's all from me. Just going to focus for the assigning of activities. Next time, I'm going to show you how to uh, evaluate students' performance through the progress. Thank you for watching my video. Till next time. Bye.